What up, y'all? One time for the slime. Let's get it. I'm gonna show you guys this cool um, VST called Synth Master Player, and Synth Master Player is really like affordable VST. It's like super inexpensive, and I know it's kind of hard to see the uh, GUI, um, but it, it might look better on your computer. It just depends on like what type of resolution you're using and what type of computer you have. But um, basically, over here you'll see the instruments. Over here you'll see the genres, and this is the actual author. Then you select the VST here, so it's pretty easy to use. Um, the sounds are very retro and like eight, '80s vibes. Shout out to Retro Lodge. The shot, the uh, the yeah. It has just a really dope, crisp, like the sounds are very unique and I really like it. So you just gotta vibe out and forget what genre you're in when you're doing this. And you'll, you're gonna make some super hard stuff. So like just play around with the sounds, they're really dope. And again, this VST is only $9, but I'm gonna just show you guys how to make a dope melody with it. Um, start off with like a flute or something. Let me show you the hands. So usually what I would do is I, I keep going through presets till I find the perfect sound and then I keep doing this till I get the perfect pattern right and then I just try to get it in FL, so. I might start off with uh, some keys. Let's go around. And you know, I always say like, take your time till you find a melody. Just like, it's a really hard process at times, but just like literally take your time and just know that you'll find that right melody and just wait for it and then just get it in there. Like, it's really that simple. I like to stay true to the BPM. So let's figure out what BPM that's it. All right, so we're about to just get that in there. Like that. Let's see what we can do here in the editing process. Get, the, get rid of this as fast as possible. Oh. Ah! Ah! I accidentally hit Control S. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sounds like some uh, X Files type music. I think we want to, let's keep that note and then just go like this, hold down shift. I call this the ghost. Again, guys, genreless music, like just go in and then, oh, whoops. And I just like do stuff like this. Watch. Try to make it even more complicated, like you actually played it like that. See how just much more it adds, just like in that short time frame. And this is one of those weird like threes, and that happens sometimes. Where it's like, it'll be threes instead of fours. It just goes like that sometimes. So don't panic and just keep it going. In fact, a lot of times these beats sound really good. Maybe just, and then add some variation in the second part. And then now we're ready to layer it. Go ahead, clone this. Look for a pad to layer it with. Copy. 
uh, fixing the playlist so it repeats where you want it to. Alright, uh, and then, um, lay with the pad. Right there. That's hard. Alright. That's hard, yeah. They're going again with a different sound. I would say with the counter melee, try to play something as dope as possible. Like, it sounds self-explanatory, but I feel like some people just kind of let up on the counter melody. So, like, on the counter melody, go as hard as you did on the original melody. Like... That's hot right there. That's hot, and get it in there. And just like edit, you know? We're not, we're not Mozart out here, just music production. You can mess up, just fix it. Right here, in the piano row. Let me stop the video and just explain this real quick. All right, guys. If you watch one video in FL about this, you have to wa continuously watch these videos and absorb. You won't get into one session. You got to watch, try, watch, try, watch, try, watch, try, watch, try, watch, try, and then you'll match with what I know. So you know, and and whatnot. That's just like my learning strategy for y'all. So I don't want y'all to get totally tripped up and be like, oh, this is a lot. Just try to take like one or two things from this. And then again, keeps it moving, shut. Alright, now. I might even try to add in another counter melody in here. And with counter melodies, try to get it off the grid so it's not hitting at the exact same time as this other one. And probably turn this one's velocity down too. Turn the velocity, the volume down rather. All right, try to get another counter melody in here. And sometimes like, it can help to add just like a kick and a snare. Just to like, mesh the counter melody. Just whatever, it doesn't have to be the perfect combination. record something, you know what I'm saying? Alright. We'll come back to that. Let's get another catamelian in though. Watch. This could really be also something that's added later in the beat. So it doesn't have to play at the exact same time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened to the sound here. Different sound. Let's try to give a different sound in there. Piano keys. We try that. Oh, I chose the author, see? My bad.
And honestly, if this isn't working for you, we could just stop there, but maybe also try to record vocals. See how I took my time again? And I tell you guys again, it's oftentimes that last counter melody makes the biggest difference. So like, I usually three ought to do it. Three melody sounds ought to do it. Usually four might be too much, but that la I tell you that last one will make it pop. I'm telling you, watch this. I like this. Again, get it off the grid, kind of. Maybe do it before this time. Shift it to the left. Also, play with the velocity, Alt R, but not too much. And the another thing I would do is, we could, and again, we could probably have this come in later in the beat. So like something like that. Like, it can make it, you can see like what I mean like you can have that extra melody drop when the kick drum drops or when the 808 drops or whatever you want to do. Watch how that sounds. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to limiter. Pierce that ceiling a little bit. Let's tighten it up a little bit. Oh yeah, actually hold up. Before we do that, let's add some reverb. Fruity Convolver is my favorite. I just like the default one. It'd usually work out, make your stuff more vibey. But honestly, there's a lot of reverb on these Synthmaster sounds already, so that might make it sound weirder. I actually don't like it. So uh, let's try Gross Beat now. And Gross Beat, you can go anywhere. Presets, try it. That just sounds weird. And if you have that issue, just move this to a different mixer slot. And what we can do here is, uh, let's see here, let's go back here. Actually, you know what? This might not even work. I would just keep that how it is. Let's 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 bring that back. And again, sometimes you gotta be, you gotta take that approach as a, as a beat maker to just see when things aren't working and just go back and be like, okay, that's okay how it was. No big deal. And I have to cut the high end out a little bit to leave room for the snare. And same thing with the kick. I'd probably double the kick though, but we're pretty much done with the melody. That's really it for this video, guys. Uh, but like...
another effect you can really have is actually just at this point the mastering part of it which would be going in the master channel click on maximus maximus is fun i just go through these presets see maybe some might be even doper see what i'm saying some other cool ones here i like the clear master ones and then what you do is like is this better or worse it's probably a little bit better my goodness this needs a limiter um but that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching slime green beats maddie tutorial let me know what y'all want to see next peace out hold it down and we out